Is there someone you need to be reconciled with today? Peace and all blessings to you, my dear friends. This is Sister Mayan Molina of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Peter came and said to Jesus, If another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him. And as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. But the same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves, who owned him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to the Lord all that had taken place. Then this Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all the debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my Heavenly Father will also do to every one of you, if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. When Jesus had finished saying these things, he left Galilee and went to the region of Judea beyond Jordan. Forgiveness is not only a transaction between an offender and the offended party, between the debtor and the creditor. Rather, it is a transaction from which God can never be absent because forgiveness is essentially divine. An offense that is not answered back with another offense but with mercy is a demonstration of genuine love that can only have God as its source. Forgiveness, as today's gospel parable shows, is the obligation to pass on to a fellow debtor the compassion one has received from the Master. It is a gift that must not be hoarded, but doing so will have dreadful consequences. So let our prayer today be, Lord Jesus, may God's compassion not remain stagnant in us, but lead us to pardon the offenses of fellow sinners. Amen.
merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Celebrating the Pauline family year of the Word of God. From November 26, 2020 to November 26, 2021, with a theme that the Lord's message may spread quickly. Yeah.